I once again welcome you all in the session on the nutraceuticals. In the today's session, we are going to discuss herbs as health food. So, in this session, we are going to discuss one of the nutraceutical drug that is a chicory. So, let us move towards the chicory. So, chicory, it is a seed, root, and dried parts which are being used to make the medicine. In the case of chicory, we are using either seeds, roots, or the some of the dried parts which are being used in the medicine. It is a uh, obtained from the dried leaves and roots of chicorium intibus belonging to family composite. So chicory, it is obtained from the dried roots and leaves of chicorium intibus belonging to family composite. The synonyms for the chicory, that is Hindu bar, Sunsi, Indaiba, and Belgium Indai. These are the some of the synonyms for the chicory. See the image which I have placed on the slide so that you will get understood how the chicory looks like. Let us move towards the chemical constituent. Mainly, chicory comprises the flavonoids, tannins, triterpenoids, then umbelliferon and copolethylene. These are the major chemical constituents of the chicory. So by considering these phytoconstituents, it is having the great role in the management of the various diseases as well as the treatment of the sum of the diseases. Furthermore, mainly the chicory comprises approximately 68% of inulin, which is having the health benefit. Then around 14% of sucrose, 5% of cellulose, 6% of protein, and 3% of other compounds. So mainly chicory comprises the inulin and which shows the health benefit. Furthermore, the chicory comprises the volatile oils, fatty acids, alkaloids, triterpenes, flavonoids, latex, tannins, and the saponins. If you can see here, the saponin is the one of the components which is present in the chicory and which is having the certain health benefit. Then harmon and the non-harmon alkaloids, then flavon derivatives and certain vitamins which are present in the chicory. Furthermore, the chicory comprises the quercetin and cancerol. So these are the chemical constituents of the chicory. So on this slide, we have discussed the biological source of chicory, synonyms for the chicory, and the chemical constituents of the chicory. Let us move towards the health benefits of the chicory. Now, as we know the phytoconstituents which are present in the chicory, right? And all these phytoconstituents having a certain role in the management of the certain diseases. As the chicory root, it is a primary composed of inulin. So it is a prebiotic that encourages the growth of healthy gut bacteria and which supports the digestion. As we know that 68% of inulin it is present in the chicory, right? And this inulin, it is going to act as a prebiotic, which supports the growth of the microorganism. And furthermore, it helps for the digestion. So this is the first health benefit of the chicory. As we know, it comprises the inulin. The chicory root fiber further helps to relieve the constipation and increases the stool frequency. The chicory root comprises the fibers and the inulin, which furthermore help to 
we leave the constipation as well as the stool frequency, it is going to be increased. In a majority of cases, the indigestion and constipation is the one of the problem. So in such cases, it is possible to use the chicory as a health food. Then inulin and other compounds in a chicory root may help to improve the blood sugar level, may help to control the sugar levels in the diabetic patient. So it is having a role in the management of the diabetes mellitus. The patients who are suffering from the diabetes, if they are taking the chicory root or chicory root leaves, that may help to reduce the blood sugar level, right? as it comprises the various phytoconstituents from the see certain fibers are present then the, it comprises the flavonoids isn't it and these phytoconstituents are having role in the management of the blood sugar level furthermore the chicory root fiber may aid weight loss by reducing the appetite and crumbing calorie intake as it comprises the fiber, isn't it? So when we are taking the chicory root, it comprises the fiber which promotes the weight loss by reducing the appetite and crumbing the calorie intact. Right? So this is the fourth health benefit of the chicory. Furthermore, the chicory root, it is used in the management of certain cardiovascular diseases. More specifically, it is going to reduce the bad cholesterol in the body. And that could be helpful in the management of the sudden cardiovascular diseases. Say, for example, arteriosclerosis. Then chicory root has a number of helpful qualities. It is due to the presence of the phytoconstituent. So it is going to act as an immunomodulator. It is a powerful booster for the immunosystem. It is going to modulate the immunity of the person. Right? So it is going to act as a powerful immunobooster. Chicory root extract is often used as a diuretic. So it could be helpful in the management of the hypertension and it increases the urine volume. Furthermore, it is going to act as an uh, arthritic pen. It is going to be used in the arthritic pen. Then chicory root has a mild laxative effect. Already we have seen that it helps in the digestion as well as it increases the stool frequency. So chicory root has a mild laxative effect, increases the bile from the gallbladder and decreases the swelling. Chicory root, it is a rich source of beta carotene. You know the health benefits of the beta carotene. Then furthermore, it is being used in the management of jaundice, liver problem, diabetes, and uh, intestinal worm. So these are the certain health benefits of the chicory. So on this slide, we have discussed the health benefits of chicory. In short, chicory, it is going to act as a prebiotic due to presence of inulin. Furthermore, it comprises the fibers which help to reduce the weight, which helps to relieve the constipation, which increases the stool frequency. Then chicory, it is having a great role in the management of the diabetes mellitus. Furthermore, it is going to reduce the bad cholesterol, which will be helpful in the management of certain cardiovascular diseases. Then it is going to act as an immunomodulator. It is going to act as an act as diuretic. Then it may reduce the arthritic pain. Then it is going to act as a mild laxative and uh, increases the bile from gallbladder and decreases the swelling. It comprises the beta carotene, uh, which uh, having a health benefit. And furthermore, it is going to be used in the jaundice, then liver problem, diabetes, and uh, intestinal. So this is about the health benefits of the chicory. Let us move towards the dosage, side effects, precaution, and the drug interactions of the chicory. Approximately 3 to 5 grams of 
root powder can be administered with a 150 to 250 ml of water. So these are the dosage guidelines for the chicory. Let us move towards the side effects of the chicory. So chicory, it is going to sensitize the skin. So there might be the slight sensitization of skin. Furthermore, when we are taking the chicory by oral route, it may cause the minor gastrointestinal side effects, including the gas, bloating, abdominal pain, and the uh, belching. So these are the, some of the side effects of the chicory. So chicory, it may sensitize the skin. If we are taking the chicory by oral route of administration, uh, we may see certain minor uh, side effects like uh, gastrointestinal side effects like gas, bloating, abdominal pain, and the belching. Let us move towards the precautions. See, these precautions are very important. Precautions and drug interaction. Because uh, we uh, may uh, assume that the whatever the herbal drugs are there, they don't have the side effects, isn't it? They don't have the drug interactions and so on. There are certain precautions and warnings are there when we are using all these herbal drugs. So for the chikori, the precautions are very first precaution, it should be avoided in the pregnancy and the breastfeeding. In the case of pregnancy, there might be chances of menstruation and the miscarriage. So suddenly, one should avoid the chikori uh, in the case of pregnancy. Then, uh, if you have the allergy towards certain components, in such cases, the chikori should be avoided. It may produce the allergy to the person. Furthermore, as we know that, the chikori it is going to lower the blood sugar level, isn't it? So one should think about the sugar level of the person, isn't it? Then it is going to stimulate the production of bile, as we have seen on the previous slide. So it should be avoided in the gallstone. If the patient is suffering from the gallstone, as the chikori, it is going to promote the production of bile, isn't it? So that may lead to the sudden complication. Then furthermore, the chikori should be avoided in the surgery as we know that it is going to decrease the sugar level. So before surgery, at least 20 days before surgery, we should avoid the, or we should stop taking the chikori. So these are the few precautions and warnings should be considered for the chikori. Moving towards the drug interaction, as you know that the chikori, it is going to reduce the blood sugar level. So if we have prescribed the chikori with the anti-diabetic drug, there might be chances of lowering of the blood sugar level. So one should monitor the blood sugar level when the chikori it is combined with the anti-diabetic drug or it should not be combined with the anti-diabetic drug. One of the uh, either herb or the anti-diabetic drug we have to suppose to stop. So this is a major drug interaction with the chikori. So this is about the drug interactions of the chikori. So in the chikori, we have discussed the biological source of chikori, then uh, synonym, chemical constituent, health benefits, then dosage, side effects, precautions, and the drug interaction. So these are the references which I have referred for the drug chikori. May